Hey kids, it's me, Teacher A. In this video, I'm going to discuss some valid argument forms. Okay, are you ready? Okay, let's start. Okay, so what is an argument? Okay, so an argument is a set of propositions or statements. An argument includes one or more premises supporting the conclusion. What do I mean by that? Let me show you the two forms of an argument. Here, okay, we have the standard form. So, ito yung tinatawag na premises. Okay? Yan yun. Okay, so these are all declarative sentences, okay, na either true or false, but not both. Okay, so propositions lahat yan. Okay, so we have N propositions. And itong Q, ang tawag dyan, conclusion. Alright? So ito yung standard form ng isang argument. Alright? Okay, so ang tawag dito sa triple dot dito ay therefore. Okay? We have another form of an argument. Ito. Propositional form. So, pwede natin tong state in one statement. Ganito siya. Okay? So, paano i-convert ang isang standard form to its propositional form? All you have to do is to connect or combine these premises using the connector and. Okay? Pagko-connect-connect nyo lang siya using the word and. Tapos, sila na yung magiging hypothesis. Tapos, ito yung conclusion. Ito, oh, if P1 and P2 and up to Pn, then Q. Okay? So, ganyan ang itsura ng isang argument. Okay? It's made up of premises. Okay? And these premises support the conclusion. Now, when do you say that an argument is valid? Okay, so kailan um, okay yung argument natin? So, an argument is valid if all the premises are true, then the conclusion must be true as well. Okay, balikan natin yung dalawang form ng isang argument. So, ito, i-assume mo na totoo. So, they are all true. So, dapat mag-follow na yung conclusion atin na Q is also true. Okay? Kung propositional form naman ang pag-uusapan, you may want to prove this one, this statement, this conditional statement, a tautology. Okay? Using a truth table. If you were able to prove that this propositional form is a tautology, so, you say the argument is valid. Okay? So, let's discuss some valid argument forms by examples. Okay? So, let's have this first example. Let's try to make a conclusion. A valid conclusion. Okay, so we have this. Rachel and Paolo will be at a concert. Rachel was at the concert. Therefore, so I'm going to write the given example in standard form para mas makita ninyo kung anong itsura ng argument. So here, I let P be the statement Rachel will be at the concert. Okay, statement or proposition. Let proposition Q be Paolo will be at the concert. Okay, so we have here two propositions. Now, yung first sentence, Rachel and Paolo will be at a concert. That is exactly our P and Q, right? Okay, what about this one? Rachel was at the concert. That is exactly our statement P. So we write that. And then we have therefore. So, ganito siya. Lalagyan nyo ng habang line. And then, ano kaya ang possible conclusion? 
Okay, so let me show you. So sabi, you assume that the premises are all true. So nasan ba yung mga premises? Itong dalawang to. Right? So they are both true. Okay, kita nyo? Now, so Rachel was at the concert. This one is true. Okay? Tapos yung P and Q is also true. Okay, look at this. So, true to, right? P and Q. Tapos si P, true rin, right? So, kung true ang P, okay, what can you say about Q? Dapat, true rin ito, right? Para yung combination nila using the word and is also true. So, valid conclusion yung Q because Q is a true statement. Paolo was at the concert. Let's take another example. Okay, let's have this. If a person is an engineer, then that person has a college degree. Dennis does not have a college degree. Therefore, okay, so tingnan natin ang form nito. So we have here two propositions, okay? So first proposition, a person is an engineer. Second proposition, that person has a college degree, okay? Now, we're going to write this in symbol. So the first sentence is written in this way yeah this is the symbol for a conditional statement right and then after this you have dennis does not have a college degree so what do you mean by that na negate yung statement or proposition q kita nyo okay so the negation of q is this person does not have a college degree Ano kaya ang valid conclusion? Let me introduce you a valid argument form. This is what we call the modus tollens. Ito yung itsura ng form niya. Here. Okay? So, ito kasi yung propositional form. So, dito tayo sa standard form. Kita nyo? Magkamukhang magkamukha yung um, form natin dito. Sa ginagawa nating example. At saka doon sa form dito. Okay? So, what is the valid conclusion? The negation of P. It's like your contrapositive. Do you still recall? If you have a conditional statement, if P, then Q, its contrapositive is, if not Q, then not P. Okay? So, alam nyo na kung anong conclusion natin dito. Not P. So, all you have to do is to negate this. Okay? So, you conclude that that person is not an engineer or Dennis is not an engineer. Okay? Uh, let's have more examples. Okay. If I am irritated or angry, I cannot concentrate. I can concentrate. Therefore, okay, so... Here, we have three propositions, okay? So, the first sentence or the first statement is, I am irritated. The second proposition, I am angry. The third proposition, I cannot concentrate. Now, we're going to write the given in its standard form. Okay, let's read the first sentence. If I am irritated or angry, I cannot concentrate. Okay? So, ganito siya. Right? If P or Q, then R. Right? And then this is the second statement. I can concentrate. So, what do you notice? Ninegate ito. Actually, double negation nga. Right? I can concentrate. So, that is exactly the negation of R. Okay, so actually, this is another example of modus tollens. So let us recall the modus tollens here. Okay, so ito ulit yung standard form niya. 
Okay? So, if you have a conditional, that's your first premise. And then the second premise is the negation of the conclusion here, Q. What could be the um, general conclusion for the um, argument? It's the negation of the hypothesis. What is our hypothesis here? Eto, yung P or Q. So, ito yung ininegate natin. Right? Okay, so, ganyan. Okay. And then, if you recall the De Morgan's Law, ano yung De Morgan's Law? Yun yung pag-distribute ng negation. So, magiging not P and not Q. Ganyan. So, how do you translate this into statement? Okay? So, negate nyo daw yung P and negate nyo yung Q. So, eto yun. So, this is the valid conclusion to this argument. Let's have another example. Okay? Here. So, this is our fourth example. I will go to La Union. I will eat halo-halo de iloko. Okay? So, if I eat halo-halo, I gain weight. Therefore, so, ano kaya ang pwedeng conclusion? To be able to draw a conclusion, we will try to write the given in its standard form, argument form. Okay? So, we have here three propositions. Okay? So, I will go to La Union. I will eat halo-halo de el loco. I gain weight. Okay, so let's write this fourth example in its standard form. So do you agree? The first premise is ito. If I will go to La Union, I will eat halo-halo di iloko. Okay? And then the second premise, ito, second statement natin. Okay? If I eat halo-halo, I gain weight. Ito, eksakto yun. Okay? What could be our conclusion? Let me introduce you a valid argument form. And this is what you call the law of syllogism. Ito yung form niya. Tingnan nyo, ha? Okay? Kamukhang-kamukha siya kung ano yung meron tayo dito. Right? Okay. It's like transitivity, if you still recall. If A is equal to B, and then B is equal to C, then, A is equal to C. Parang ganun lang din to. Okay? If P, then Q. Tapos, if Q, then R. Therefore, if P, then R. So, ganun din dito. Our conclusion is, if P, then R. So, ito yung P. Okay? And then, this is your R. This is our conclusion. If I will go to La Union, I will gain weight. Okay? So, it's just a matter of pattern. So, all you have to do is to familiarize yourself sa iba't ibang valid argument form. Okay? Alright. Let's have this last example. Okay? If I pass the final exam, I will graduate. And then the second sentence... I graduated. Therefore, okay, so this is our solution. Okay, standard form. Okay, using these two propositions. So the first premise, okay, is a conditional statement. Ito, if I pass the final exam, I will graduate. So if P, then Q. Okay, what is our second premise? Ito, I graduated. So we have Q. Okay. Now, ano kaya ang conclusion? Okay, maraming bata, ganito ang magiging sagot. Okay? Therefore, I passed the final exam. The question is, is this really the conclusion? Okay, given this argument. Okay, let us um, discuss. Di ba sabi natin, yung mga premises, true. Right? So, ibig sabihin, um, true etong conditional statement natin at saka true etong ating statement Q. Nasaan ba yung statement Q dito sa ating conditional statement? Here. True yan. Okay, ito yung tinatawag nating conclusion dito sa ating conditional statement. 
right? So, true ang conclusion dito. Ngayon, what can we say about here, doon sa ating hypothesis? Doon sa I pass the final exam. Okay. Sige, sabihin natin na true ito. If true, then true. Yes. True yon yung conditional kapag pinag-combine mo. Now, what if false yung I pass the final exam? So, what do we have? If false, then True. True rin, no? Diba? Because the only case na nagpo-false ang isang conditional statement ay true ang hypothesis and false yung conclusion. Diba? So, true rin. So, ibig sabihin yung I pass the final exam, pwede siyang true, pwede rin siyang false. So, kapag ito ang ginawa yung conclusion, hindi kayo sure na true ito. Kasi pwede rin itong false. So, actually, you cannot have this as your conclusion. Actually, ito ay isang fallacy. How do you prove that this one is a fallacy? All you have to do is to construct a truth table, tapos dapat yung last column lahat false. Okay? So, madaming nagkakamali dito. Okay? So, so anong tamang sagot? Okay? So, let us see. Okay? So, ito yung example number five. Okay? Ito yung mga premises natin. Okay? So, let me introduce you another valid argument form. Here, the rule of addition. Okay? Kasi ito lang yung naisip ko na pwedeng maging conclusion dito sa given um, argument. Here, ang rule of addition, so dito tayo sa standard form. If you have one statement, okay, so this one is true. Okay, kasi ito ay premise. Okay, valid conclusion ang P, you just copy this one, the true statement, and then co-connect mo siya sa isa pang statement using the word or. And yes, this is true. Itong conclusion na to ay totoo. Bakit? Kasi you know that P is already true. Diba? Kapag disjunction, if at least one is true, yung combination nila, no matter what, is the truth value of Q. Okay, pwede siyang true, pwede siyang false. True pa rin yung combination nila. Because, sure tayo na true yung P. So, yun na lang yung gagamitin natin dito, the rule of addition. What do I mean by that? Pwede ganito ang maging sagot ninyo. Q or P. So, what do I mean by that? I graduated or, okay, nilakihan ko to pero dapat if you're going to write it, dapat small letters to ha. Okay? I passed the final exam. True yan. Okay? Pwede rin actually ito. Q or not P. I graduated or I did not pass the final exam. Pwede ito. Kasi kung false to, eh, true naman yung I graduated eh. So, true pa rin yung buong statement na ito. Okay? Actually, you can have any other statement na i-coconnect doon sa I graduated. Basta make sure that you use this word or this connector or. Okay? So, ganun lang. So, I think that's it. I hope you learned something from this video. Please don't forget to like this video, share this video to your friends, and please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video.